Hello and welcome. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Robert Bowden, and I'm Michigan Wing's Director of Operation. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you enter a discrepancy in AMRAD. Now, for Michigan Wing members, you need to contact your airplane's maintenance officer to enter the discrepancy. Once they have conferred with the wing maintenance officer, a discrepancy can be entered directly into AMRAD. The reason for this additional check is to ensure that duplicate discrepancies are not entered and we're not creating multiple work orders for National Headquarters Logistics. So once we have approval to enter a discrepancy, we're going to come to Menu, Logistics, and AMRAD. Then we're going to click the big red button that says Enter New Discrepancy. Now this form is called Form 001, and the only time you use this is when you're creating a new discrepancy. So we're going to select our aircraft tail number, and it will auto-populate a lot of the information. We then need to enter the location, and this one is in Harbor Springs, Michigan. Our aircraft maintenance facility, if we know it, can be entered in here. The aircraft status, in this case, we're going to be fully mission capable. Limitations, in this case, inspection required. We're then going to enter the discrepancy and any relevant information about it, and be sure to include enough detail for someone who's not familiar with it to understand what's going on. We'll then choose the area impacted, and we're going to set the status to deferred in our case because it only requires inspection. There is no safety of flight issue. If you need to ground the airplane, you would choose grounded, but in our case, it is deferred. And then we'll just select fully mission capable and inspection required, and we'll hit submit. We are now done with Form 001, and if we come back to our home page, we'll see our number of open work items has gone up. We now have 12, and if I come to the discrepancy search, I can search for open. choose my tail number, and hit Filter Report. Scroll down the page. I can come into the discrepancy and click Form 002. Now, the only other thing I'm going to do at this point is under Justification Code, click in our case, low priority, because it doesn't require urgent review by national. And then I'll hit submit and hit continue. It has now logged who created the report initially of the discrepancy and which AMO has added additional information to it. If I wanted to add something additional, I could add it under supporting information. And then to save that, I just click submit. It will give me a confirmation again, and I hit continue. 
Now, one thing to remember, if you're a Michigan Wing member, and we know other people outside the wing may be watching this video, you need to go through Major Duquette to contact national headquarters. We do not want you contacting the maintenance shops directly. So when there's a new discrepancy, it gets entered into here, and then when it gets ready to go to the maintenance shop, you'll use the Michigan Wing maintenance request form where you'll copy this information from AMRAD onto the paper sheet that's left on the pilot seat when the aircraft is dropped off. For more information on this, refer to the Michigan Wing Maintenance Supplement. So in this video, we saw how you can create a brand new discrepancy, how you fill in Form 001, and then update Form 002. At this point, the airplane is still flyable because the aircraft is in deferred status. Now, once that aircraft gets to the maintenance shop and it needs to be grounded, then we just come into Form 002 and change the aircraft status to grounded. This way, it will ensure that no other pilot tries to fly it while it's in the grounded status and they show up to an empty hangar. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.